Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid preview. This is the preview to Real Madrid versus Alaves at the Bernabeu. The first game back at the Bernabeu since Real Madrid last won the league title. Obviously, the celebrations already happened. There might be, you know, um, the, I, I'm not sure if the trophy is going to be, you know, brought out before the game, you know, when the players walk in and, you know, Nacho or someone might, you know, come out and lift the trophy in front of the fans and show them, like, almost like a small mini um, thank you at the start of the game. But, you know, it might happen, it might not happen. If it does happen, great. If it doesn't, then so be it. But 36th time La Liga champions, campeones, um, it's a really catchy word. Last three games to go, um, second last home game in La Liga, obviously you've got Real Betis to end off and then in between you've got Villarreal away um, as well. But it is going to be a very interesting game because... I genuinely don't know how Ancelotti is going to approach these next three games before the Champions League final against Borussia Dortmund in a sense that how's he going to be able to rotate and keep players fit but also match fit because being fit and being not tired is one thing but being match fit is another because you can't go four or five games without playing and expect to play a Champions League final neither can you play every single game and go into the Champions League final. You have to have the balance. So, it's going to be interesting to see the balance. And also, the likes of Arda Gula, Brahim Diaz. You know, these are players that have been playing well and did play well in the last game against Granada. But, how are you going to manage your game time? How are you going to manage them? And, I'm sure Ancelotti knows this better than anyone else because arguably, and I would say this you know, not arguably, but I would say this. He's the best man manager, man manager in the world. I don't think there's a better man manager in terms of going to the player and giving him a hug and, you know, telling him um, and, you know, obviously talking to that player personally. But genuinely, um, it will be interesting. Now, let's talk about Alavesh. They are 11. They are pretty much safe. Um, they are looking 13 points of courage with three games to go they are safe they will stay in the Liga next season and let's look at the last few away games they're away from um, which their last away game was Valencia away which they won um, they played Granada away and they lost to Granada can I just say they lost to Atleti Club Bilbao away. They lost to Osasuna away. They drew Real Betis away. They beat Almeria away. They beat Sevilla away. They drew Real Sociedad away. And let's see how they played. They lost to Barcelona away and they lost 2-1 as well to Atletico Madrid away. So they lost 2-1 to Barca and Atletico. So... I don't think it's going to be a 5 nil win. I don't see it. Um, but I think Real Madrid will win. I think that the fact that it's at home and you're playing against a team that aren't really that strong anyways. Can I just say, this is a set they won 10 nil in November against a second tier team in the Copa del Rey back in November. I mean, I just saw that. That's crazy. But that's not going to happen. They've got a couple of decent players, you know, not a lot. I mean, I mean Yanis Haji, the son of Giorgio Haji, um, obviously um, ex, what FC Barcelona player, um, as well. Um, he did play with Real Madrid as well too, to be fair, for two years, um, and then he went to Brescia, and then he went to Barcelona for two years. His Real Madrid stats ain't that bad, to be fair. Um, 64 games and 16 goals. With Barcelona, 36 games, 7 goals. You know what? His Real Madrid you know, record isn't very bad. They've got 
Samu Omorodion. They've got Giuliano Simeone. If I'm not wrong, that's another son from Diego Simeone, if I'm not wrong. Rafa Marin. Um, if I'm not wrong, he's out on loan. Yep, out from Real Madrid. He might come back this um, summer. Kiki Garcia. Luis Rioja. Um, Gorosabel. Vicente. Rebic. They've got a lot of attackers. That's what I'm going to say. Um, a lot of attackers. Um, Antonio Blanco as well. Um, Ex-Real Madrid. So... This is a side that have got a bit of youth, a bit of experience in there. But I don't expect them to get anything much from this game. Um, Injuries-wise, I think that potentially, I think Alaba might still be out. And Tramene, who picked up an injury. And for Alaves, it is probably just Alexander Settler who is a midfielder so it's looking pretty all right um hopefully Tramene is able to come back recover and make it for the Champions League final which is happening in three weeks time but here will be my starting 11 I've gone Kepa and goal now the last game um it was interesting because Courtois started against Granada and the fact that you have got three more games to go I would say let Kepa play not all three games in La Liga, no. But I would certainly say at least against Alaves, let him play. And then you can rotate. You can play Lulin against Villarreal. You can play Courtois against Real Batiste. And you can play Lulin against Dortmund. If you want to do that, of course. But Kepa, I think with three games to go in La Liga, at least one game I think would be fair. And I think that although he has ended up being the third choice and he's going back to Chelsea at the end of the season, he has done his job. He has done what he's supposed to do whenever he has had the chance and has the chance to play. The back line, I would rest some players. Lucas Vasquez and Frank Garcia rest. Mendy and Carvajal. Rudiger rest. Start Nacho next to Militao, the captaincy. And because you don't have anyone else, you have to start someone. I would probably rather start Militao than Rudiger. For this game the midfield Kamavinga to do the six let Danny Sabayos play because why not um, watching him play against Granada was painful because as I said in the review of that game he had the ball he over you know um, controls it and then he nearly loses the ball and he has to make a back pass all the way back to the defense and the keeper which is like horrible and then I'll bring Fede Valverde back because he got a full rest against Granada. The front line, let Arda Gula play. Let Brian Diaz play. And then I'll probably drop Hosselu and bring in Vinicius Jr. Also a bit of respect there. Obviously Hosselu ex Alavesh player as well. And yeah, there's that. Bellingham can come on. Rodrigo can come on. Modric could come on. Cruz maybe could come on. Um, you've got options, right? You've got options to, that you can bring on. Certainly. Score predictions. Hey, it's, I'm going to say 2-1. Because Atletico Madrid and Barcelona have beaten Alavés at home 2-1. And let's make that the trio. Let me know what thoughts are down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's preview. Here's the demo instead. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.